Hello. In the previously published instruction Fabric 3 Cube, we use uh, 18 balloons to make uh, one cube. And then I mentioned that it's possible to make the same cube using just 12 balloons. That is what we are going to make today. Inflate 12 balloons, uh, leaving about 7 inch flat tails. We are going to work uh, in the same fashion, um, making very simple color pattern. We twist all bubbles of the same, about 1 inch size. We use each balloon to twist 18 bubbles. Uh, we use 6 balloons. Uh, tight in three pairs to make a rectangular shaped piece of fabric with sides 6 by 18 bubbles. We use uh, this piece of fabric to represent three sides of a uh, cube. The cube actually is supposed to have six sides. So we will have to use two pieces of fabric to make all six sides of cube. Uh, all six sides of uh, our cube uh, would have a square shape with sides 6 by 6 bubbles. We are making a sculpture of a relatively small cube uh, that consists of 216 bubbles. So uh, it would take time to make it. All right. So here we have made the first row of six bubbles. Now we work on uh, the second row. Again, uh, I'm using very simple color pattern in this example. You can use more than one color balloon to make different color patterns. We discussed it a bit in previously published instruction. And we can use uh, more or less balloons to make uh, different size uh, cubes. Okay. Here we have made the first two rows. We work in this fashion to the end of the balloons. Let's uh, first play this part of the video. Let's talk about the cubes. A little. Each cube uh, consists of six squares. In our example, uh, we're making squares with sides six by six bubbles. To make bigger size cube, we have to increase number of uh, bubbles on each side. For example, we can make the cube with sides eight by eight bubbles. Uh, it would take 16 balloons. Three squares connected uh, together would make a rectangle with sides 8 by 24 bubbles. It's quite possible to use just 8 balloons to make this big rectangle. Well, sure thing, uh, to make bigger rectangles, we have to add more balloons. Usually I make uh, cubes with sides 6 by 6, as in this example. Uh, main purpose, uh, I use it uh, to play games indoor. Uh, yes, indeed, we can use um, the cube sculpture instead of a ball to play any games indoor, not outdoor, indoor. The sculpture is uh, not so bouncy as a ball, much lighter, and it makes it uh, very safe to play indoor games. There are many, many games that we can play with balloons. You can uh, find description of some games on my blog post. Uh, links available at my website, if you do it .com. Also, I want to remind you that we can use uh, 260 balloons to make balls. Um, previously, we have uh, made ball using uh, three balloons and uh, we use uh, more balloons to make bigger size balls. Links to all those instructions again available at uh, our website fidui.com. And now let's get back to our sculpture. Once we made the last 18th row, we can cut off the rest of the balloons and tie off the ends. Okay, so far we have made a rectangular shaped piece of fabric with sides 6 by 18 bubbles. Now we have to make uh, the same size rectangular piece of fabric. At the same time we're going to attach both rectangles uh, to make cube. Let's find the middle on the long side of our rectangle. It's between the 9th and 10th bubble. I'm going to use 6 yellow balloons to make the second rectangle. Attach the first pair of yellow balloons at the middle of long side between the 9th and 10th blue bubbles. We better tie the nozzles of yellow balloons around the blue balloon to make it secure. And now we attach the second yellow pair of balloons on either side of the first yellow pair, uh, tying it 
between the next two blue bubbles. And then we will attach the third pair of yellow balloons on the other side of the first yellow pair of balloons. And again, as you can see, we work this sculpture basically uh, in the same fashion as we did the first cube. Also, I want to remind you that um, in the first uh, instruction, the previously published instruction, we actually made two different cubes. In one of those uh, previously made uh, cubes, we use extra bubbles to make the corners. Uh, those extra bubbles uh, actually makes it much easier to connect sides of the cube. I'm not going to do it in this instruction. If you curious about those extra bubbles, just check the instruction fabric tree cube. Okay, and now we work the first yellow row. Remember, as we're making the yellow piece, we have to make sure to connect yellow piece to the blue piece. So every time when we get to the edge of yellow piece, we have to connect it to the blue piece. And here we are at the corner. And here we are the first yellow bubble at the corner, right corner of my sculpture. I lock it between the next two blue bubbles. In the same way we work on the left side of the sculpture. The first yellow bubble on the left side we lock it between the next two blue bubbles to make the corner of the cube. In this fashion we're going to work the rest of the sculpture. Um, not at this point, but a bit later, if necessary, we can hide some uh, surprise items inside of the cube. It could be any object, toy, not sharp items, of course. I think it's an uh, uh, interesting variation to give a present or birthday gift, for example. Gift hiding in a balloon box. Okay, so here we have made already the second yellow row. It's already attached to the blue rectangle. Our sculpture already taken the cube dimension. You can see the edges. Here's a view from inside of the cube. So now uh, we work the rest of the sculpture in the same way. And I'm going to first play the next part of the video. Okay, um, sometimes it might happen uh, you inflate balloon leaving not enough of the flat tail. No big problem. Just to inflate another balloon tied to the end of the first balloon and keep working. That's all. Oh wow, look, we already have made the first square. This side six by six bubbles. Here's the inside of the cube view. Always remember to make the corners, connections between sides. And there is no need to slow down. Keep up working good speed. Okay, uh, I mentioned before uh, that we can use this cube instead of uh, ball to play different games. Uh, also I said that we can use it as a gift box. And we can use uh, the cube uh, to build different bigger size sculptures. We can use the cube um, with a different color pattern or maybe working in different uh, fashion, slightly different fashion. Uh, we can make a dollhouse. Um, the dollhouse with roof, windows, doors. We can use it to represent gingerbread house. Back to our sculpture, we're already working on the last side of our cube. As for the dollhouse, uh, well, I don't have time today to make it. Uh, some of the other times, uh, most certainly we will make the dollhouse. Anyway, I hope you have the idea what you can use the cube for. And here we come to the last yellow row. It's all done. Now let's just cut off the rest of the yellow balloons nicely and tie the ends with the yellow balloon. Sometimes you may want to keep the rest of the balloons, of course, to use it as a handle to hold the sculpture. Okay, let's stretch the sculpture slightly to fix bubbles in proper positions. That's it. Uh, one more thing. Uh, we can use scissors to trim off the ends of the balloons. Or we can just hide the ends between the bubbles. Congratulations, we have made the cube.
we can use it as it is or fold it make a chair armchair or turn it upside down and make it uh, a roof for your dollhouse have fun and happy twisting